You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Fear Factor. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Fear Factor news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Fear Factor. What up, guys? Welcome to Fear Factor, episode oh, whoa, two. Whoa. Oh, you're gonna break down some Justin Bieber. You gonna do some? You got you got the fever. This is Phil's song. We don't have to, we don't have DJ J here, but we got Phil. We got Phil in the house tonight. Nice. Are you gonna dance? I'm, I'm officially leaving if you start dancing, bro. What's going on? What's up, AfterBuzz fans? It's me, JC, and the lovely Adam, to bring you Fear Factor we episode can, uh, two. We can turn down the Justin Bieber now. Why not, man? It, it's, it's, Should we just do the whole show with this on? Why not? I'm down. See, so there we go. Tell them what's going on. Uh. JC, you know the words. That's it, dude. I'm just So we're I'm, doing Fear Factor, right? I'm turning in my guy badge after that. Jesus. Welcome. Wow. <laughs> like JC said, the Fear Factor. Episode two. We we made it. We made it to the second episode. Yes, we made it without you vomiting. Without me vomiting, you know. Well Um <laughs> Phil told me that we got a lot of viewers on the last one and we made it up to that little iTunes uh top ten. Oh nice. And I wanna just thank everyone for watching. And like I know we have a late start tonight, eleven nineteen. You know, I don't make the rules around here. We got eleven nineteen start time. Hopefully next week, you know, Phil I mean, uh, somebody will move us down to like so the back east and everybody, all my cousins in England can be watching. But you know what? Oh, nice. Back to Fear Factor. Yeah. It's an interesting episode tonight. It was what, just friends. Pretty much just just like parents of friends, best friends. Oh, and a and a married couple. Jones, That's right. You, who, who can you remind us who it was? Who do we have on tonight's show? We had for the um, we had what's his name Danielle or Daniel for Danielle and James. <laughs> we'll just go with Daniel. Daniel, Daniel and, and James. They were the two. Were, were they a gay couple or no? They were just uh, no, friends. I th no, I think they, I think they were just gay. They just were just friends. They were just so, friends. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to get that wrong. Yeah. And then who were those? Uh, so uh, did you like them though? They, they seem friendly. No, I thought they were cool. I, right off the bat, they seemed like they were fun and just big personalities, you know, just what America wants, just to liven up the show, sure. I remember, um, I think it was James, the shorter one, I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, the shorter one, he said, you know, he wanted to come on this show to prove, like, to his dad that he wasn't just, like, you know, the typical, I don't want to stereotype, like, gay guy that, like, you know, what right. people think that, like, you know, are not athletic or can't do this, can't do that. So he... I don't know if he pulled the card to get on the show, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And I said remember that you he, saying that. I'm not trying to be a dick. I just want to make sure that we got the facts right. Okay, maybe he was actually, he wanted to prove to himself right. and to other people, which I, I respect that. Yeah, no, no, it was cool. Like, he, he gave the speech. He wanted to be accepted by his family, and he was really manly about it. Then he broke an nail, and he's like, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> so, no, but it was it was cool, you know. Yeah, I mean, was, they seem like they had good chemistry, so. Yeah, they were they were likable, for right, sure. Right, And the next people were uh, Callie and Corey, the bodybuilder bros. Dude. Protein shake. Those guys are huge. Especially Callie, man. He, like, needed his own zip code. I mean, like, he was he, huge. He was, like, the black version of Hulk. Yeah. He, right? He was human. And right off the bat... Was it you or the, okay? We first we got to give a shout out to our, our missing guy. That's right, Rob. Rob was supposed to be with us tonight, but he unfortunately he fell. He, Ill. he actually he actually did watch the show with us. Yeah, and so right when we were about to get on set, all of a sudden he was what feeling sick, and I I didn't know at first. I was like, damn, the fear factor must have got to you because we'll get there, but yeah. but. Turns out he might uh I think it was food poisoning. Did his, he got his own fear factor earlier today. Yeah, maybe maybe um the second challenge where they got to him. Even though I doubt it, the boy's been on Survivor. He's had yeah, to eat yeah. bugs and everything. He can do it. He can do know, it way, so. way better than me. So Rob, we hope to see you next week for sure. But um, 
Was it you or... or Real what? quick, by the way, I just want to say, uh, as, no. an, as announced last week, we will do um, a Fear Factor Challenge for you guys in our special segment. And Adam, uh, sh- JC, I'm going to go with your opinion on this. Should I reveal what it is or should I just surprise everyone? Nothing's worse than death than the fear of death. So you might as well tell him so he can think about it throughout the show. Okay. So, so <laughs> here, here, at After, <laughs> here at After Buzz TV, we're very, we're very green and uh, green conscious. So we have a compost out back. And uh, we have a lot of dogs that come here. And, uh, you know, just other stuff as well. And so you're going to have to put your head into, uh, I'm just going to say it, shit-smelling compost for 45 seconds, <laughs> and we're going to put a trash bag over your head while you breathe that in. That's just twisted. God, I can only imagine what next week's going to be. Adam, so what do you think? You can do it? You're a sick fuck. You thought of this. I did. Hey, it is the Christmas show. Do it for the kids. I'll do it for John because John's watching out there. So you're gonna do it, all right? This, so this 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 guy named John. I don't, I don't know don't know too much about him, but he goes by John. And he he's a good guy, and uh, right. he said he would watch. So I guess I'll do it. So don't worry. By the way, if he's to, not to, to entice you to have to do this, our viewership literally at that moment when I said that triple. it it actually quadrupled. Well, nice. I have I'm a lot of cousins. Got I'm glad <laughs> I got a lot of cousins that are Latin, so they're all, right, all well, tuning in. Uh, so throughout the show, we'll just mention. Hey, Phil, do you mind just like mentioning like compost throughout, just throughout, just in any given moment? Just, sure, sure. But uh, how are we gonna do this? Like, get, am I no, gonna? No, no, you're gonna bring the shit in here? Don't worry about it. We will. We will. I'm just concerned about you know JC and don't don't worry about it, Adam. Others. I just want you. I need you to host me a good show right now. You let me worry about that. And when you're done with the recap, I will bring it in. I will have it set up. Please just recap the show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and thank now you. back to the show. All right. Now, going back to our couples, who do we, uh, after that, we had body, the Bodybuilder Brothers who, right off the bat, you were just kind of, were you the one that said that they thought you had, they had a good shot well, at it? no. Or was that I Bob? Don't, I mean, this is how I saw it. You know, okay, cool. They're strong, way stronger than me. They yeah. have muscles. You know, that, that's, all, that's all cool. But... What was his name? Callie? Yeah. He was just all about himself. I mean, I'm sure the producers told him, like, you know, flex, look good for the camera. But, like... I don't know the, if he was flexing. I, I think he was just breathing. He was, <laughs> but he uh, he kind of bothered me. He was. I thought he was a little too cocky. Like, cool, you're strong, and mm-hmm. I give you all the strength. You know, you can do it. Cool. But, like, don't go out there and just be like, oh, yeah, look at me. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going <laughs> to kill everyone. You know? I think he was just putting up for the show. I, I, I actually thought, I thought it, it, they were going to have a hard time. Because not always, it doesn't always go to the biggest. I think it's more of a mind game. So throughout, I, I thought they were gonna have a hard time. I thought they were gonna have some challenges, you know, just being nimble. Because they're like kind of short, stocky. You, you're just working with a lot of real right. estate. And sometimes you, their weight's not good, evenly displayed around their body. Well, it, you have gravity working against you. So right. even though you're strong, you're strong as heck. But the weakest part of you's got to hold up your whole weight. You know, I knew there was gonna be some sort of challenge where they would be hanging from something. Right, so right, right, right. I right, kind of right. had a feeling that it was gonna be an uphill battle for them. Right. But th- next up we have uh, Lori and Tiffany. <laughs> I saw you eyeing them. I saw you. No, but they like we said, the theory on Fear Factor. They always get the large chested girls. They, they always, need that. They always for have the viewers. One, yeah. I mean, they got my attention. They got See? yours. I mean, they had two beautiful. Beautiful ladies. They, yeah, they always have to get the 18 to 80 male demo for that one. <laughs> nice what did, pair what did of snack you, trays. What did you think about them? Besides uh, the obvious. And I just stick with yeah, the obvious. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I just, you know. Were they, oh, wait, did they actually do anything on the show? They I just, never, honestly, I've, for the shows I've seen, I, you know, and, and Rob even said that the girls ne- don't necessarily ever, like, print, like, very dainty girls. They never go very far on the show. Hard, right, I mean, right. I don't know if We I, had the Barbie girls last, last week. Yeah. That, um, I can't remember one winning, you know? I know. Or going real far. But then, last but not least, we had uh, Chris and Tonika. Yes, the married couple. The married couple. You know, yes. you might have not heard me, but I'm just going to say it right now. I like them. I I picked them to go far in this uh, Fear Factor episode, too. Mm-hmm. Um, it just, you could tell right away from, like, just the interviewing, just Tonika was just, she was a person wearing the pants in the relationship. Like, she had this shit under control. She went in with a game plan. She was like, yo, Chris, this is what we're doing. You're going to do this much. I'm going to do this. And we're going to win this 50 Gs, right? It's 50 Gs. And we're going to fucking get get out of here, and we're just going to go somewhere. That's what she. That's what was her mindset. The beginning almost sounded like that's probably what she barks at him in the bedroom. You know, just, you're doing this, you're doing that. Get done, get done. 
you know, but yeah, yeah, she was kind of a strong personality. I but mean, do you, do you agree? Would you live with her? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no offense. I mean, no, but I just can't handle that. I'm Latino. What do you expect? Uh, okay, you know? okay. But now, you know, of course, they, now moving on to the first challenge, which, of course, is the weekly version of Capture the Flag. Every week they start with something. I love this. This guy comes up with the best <laughs> things. The, the show does not make these names up for them. They just, you know, go right into this. You're under this or this. JC studies every night. He trains himself for Fear Factor. He All eats right. his Wheaties, and he comes up with these names. So you're basically saying I have no life, and I just spend my time on the internet watching Fear Factor reruns, <laughs> which is true, but hey, it is what it is. It no. is what it is, and it makes for a great no, show. No, but, but today's uh, uh, first challenge, of course, they were hanging. They had a, the, the, the teams had to get into a car that was being sus suspended by two choppers. Two that, helicopters, two helico right. Two right. helicopters that were... They were attached to the car and they were pulling it over, I guess, like a lake or just a little. Yeah, just some. Some little water. Reservoir. There we go, some reservoir. And um, <laughs> what they had to do was while they were in the car, they, you know, Joe would, uh, Joe, Rogan would wave a flag down and that's when they'd pop out of the car and attached to the car, there was 20 flags and they had to get all the flags. All around the car. All around the car. Tires, they, trunk. Yes. Exhaust pipe. Everything. It was just every, everywhere you can imagine. And they had to capture as many flags in the quickest amount of time possible without falling off the car right. until they got all the flags they needed. So, Who do it seemed we pretty have? easy. You, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, out of all the fear factors, you're right, you're right, you're right, I'll give you that. Out of all the fear factors, for the first challenge, which is always, like, the easiest of the three, it didn't look like... Compost. Continue. It didn't... <laughs> thank you. Um, <laughs> it didn't look like the hardest of the first one. I thought the other episodes yeah. were a lot harder, so it was manageable, I guess you can say. Yeah, and then uh, first off, we had um, the the cute the chicks. The chicks. Yeah, we had Tiffany and Lori, and they, you know they were pretty quick. You know, it seemed like they they got most of them. Uh, how many? How they, many? And if you want to call in, I just want to throw this out before uh, we dissect this uh, fear factor. If you want to call in, I it's four two four two five six seventeen twenty nine. Yes. Four two four two five six seventeen twenty nine. If you can and for that. ladies listening out there, yes, it is Adam Sudman's personal thank you. cell phone number. Thank you, thank get you, Phil. Out. Ah, thank you. Um, yeah, so I get all these after bus shows. <laughs> um, so yeah. the first group, the the girls, they they went in and they, they, they seemed, were quick. Yeah, they they got they ended up getting nineteen flags and and they had a fear factor got some like good camera quality and they got some good yeah. shots <laughs> yeah what was that before they go up why they, they have to strip down yeah, and they, sure. they focus on their you know yeah they, they focus on their tits and then uh breast this is okay and then a uh, family show yes yeah, so, well and then the whole time when they're on the car it's like i only saw their ass mm -hmm. right I never what saw was up one of them grab with a flag. I just saw ass, ass. So I did think the, the angles were kind of weird. What do you That's, expect? It's eight o'clock though. I mean, what what's like the parents' uh, council for family? Uh, I'm sure <laughs> nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Oh, was it nine? This yeah, the show is nine. Oh, oh that's right. Nine. That's oh, right. So Good call. Yeah, but still, yeah, it was just like it was like ass, boobs, ass, boobs, boobs, ass. That's all, I mean, that's every it, shot. We obviously know who they're going for, but yeah. Like you said, 19 flags, and... Yeah, so they ended up dropping one, They right? dropped one, maybe two, yeah. And, like, because they had to hold it in their hand. Did they have, like, a compartment? Or they had, like, little, uh, um... I don't the, know what Like a little, like, for the little hoster? A hook. They had a hook on the belt. end, right, right. They could hook it on their belt. Is that what they had to do? I was too busy, because I was busy. They had, like, <laughs> bikinis on. Yeah, it was, I guess. It was lost, lost in translation, but... Phil, so you missed out. But they did, you. they did well, and, um, you know, so the next group was uh, Callie and Corey, the muscle and, guy. Yes, and I, I right off the bat, like, and then they took off their shirts, and <laughs> needless, I wasn't. And then, then, as then into that's that, when JC yeah. was like, "Oh, nah. just because I moisturize doesn't mean you can throw me <laughs> under the bus and just say, hey, you know." I went, I went like that because, like, <laughs> they fuck, they like, excuse my language, they um, <laughs> <laughs> they were just doing that that Cali. Yeah, guy they did the slow doing. motion, take off the tanks. And I was like, kind of weird. All right, no, no, no. but then, but they were slow. Right. Like when they got off the car, like especially like Callie, he he couldn't get out of the his car. His facial, let me tell you this, they acted all tough. Callie especially, yeah, he had his little like friend, not really talk that much, but he was like right when they got up in the air, like I don't know like if black <laughs> people like heights or not, but his face changed. He was all like this, and he went like, like you, he was scared. 
it was that maybe oh, so you that's what you got out of it because I just thought that it was just their body. No, that they couldn't too. even get out yeah. of the car. That, that like, too. Oh, that's oh, why. It's yeah. like Hulk smash. <laughs> he was. They were huge. And then right off the bat, one thing. I, okay, I noticed in the first car, and I thought the girls did really well. And I, the car stayed even. You know how the choppers were pulling right, the car. Right, right, right. Theirs stayed pretty even throughout the whole. Was because one went out. Competition. Did one go out the uh, the front window and then one went out the back window. And so both the weight was evenly dis- yeah, distributed. They both, yeah, it's like they kind of like, I don't know if a frog does this, but like they were just so like they weren't sliding around. They were like just stuck. They were like a weight on the car. You know what I mean? Kelly like, and Corey. Yeah, other people would like you know dangle here, move fast. They were just like kind of like. Dead weight. Well, like, the second they did it, and the car just went like this, and they were like already struggling to stay up, and and they only ended up getting like uh, was it 17, seven, 17, seventeen flags? So automatically the girls were secure that they were they were going to be booted going, off the first round. Going to round two. Yeah, hey, give it up for our girls. Yeah. So they, they unlike the Barbie uh, girls, they they made it to. Hey, I'm pro woman. This? I'm pro woman today. Hey, let's see how far they go. Let's see. But then yeah, so they were already in trouble, and like I said, it's just those guys, they're not nimble. You know, they're not yeah. quick enough, so... It wasn't... They didn't want this. They probably wanted something where they had to lift something, <laughs> and which I don't blame them, and they got, they kind of got screwed, but... And then next up, we have da- Daniel and James, and this is who... Rob, uh, Rob, next week, he was the he was champion. He was the champion for them. He was, he was, he was their number one uh, fan. He thought they were going to go far, and... They did all right, you know. They, you know, they did uh, eighteen flags in three in six minutes. Four. I didn't pick up anything out of the ordinary with them. Well, I thought. I mean, they went third. Yeah. Which I thought in the beginning they definitely had a. Um, I think it was Danielle or somebody. Keep on Daniel. Sorry, Daniel. Potato. Or Danielle. Potato. Potato. potato um, hey or hey. Whatever. <laughs> it seemed like he knew. Like he he knew what he wanted to do a little. Where oh. at least knowing like what to hold on because a lot of them starting putting their arm under like something because they just needed to hold on to something and dangle to get the side ones. Mm-hmm. So I felt like they, when it came to that, they had a little plan, but like I said, everything, you know, falls loose. What am I saying? I was on a helicopter. Like, yeah, but, no, no, you know. I just good eye on that one. Then, um, of course, then the married couple, Chris and Tonika that, you know what I found interesting about them? It was like right off the bat, Callie, when, cause they were fast. Callie, the bodybuilder, they mm. shot, they gave him, you know, they, there was a shot of Callie, and, and you could tell he had, like, no, you know, like, suspense on his face. He kind of, like, knew that they were going to lose. Right, right, Just right. Just because of the way they, they came. They showed it, yeah, yeah. They came out and. What, the, 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 um, Daniel and James, they got 18. We forgot to mention they got 18 flags. Okay. So they were already past the muscles who only got 17. So they knew it was either they're going home or yeah. Chris and, and Tanika. And, and how Tanika was, like chirping the whole time yeah yeah like you said he knew he was not well, I for yeah, a good and, one. and what i loved was like did you notice that when because there was 20 flags in the car she got 10 flags and she kind of like jumped off and she i got 10 flags yeah <laughs> like, yeah 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 it's i understand yeah you got half but it, i mean if you if you have the ability to get more it's all about teamwork in the end you guys are both working for the same goal anyway so it seemed like she was just so concerned on what she had to do on her end and that he, her husband had to pull his weight, like had to. It was almost like she wanted not only to win this competition, but also to, like to prove to her husband. Were they married? Yes, they were. They were they to are. her husband. <laughs> were? Now they're not. Um, to prove to her husband that like she was better. So it was yeah. like, like you said, oh, I got 10 flags and like, oh, yeah, and, and yeah, go Chris. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, because he had to stay. He had to struggle to yeah, get out yeah. because once she jumps off, I don't know if that when that happened, it just shifts. It yeah. shifted the weight in the car and, you know, it could have got them in trouble. But and then they, they got um, what was the 18 also did. Yeah, I need, you know, what? I didn't even write it down. Yeah, they got 18 also. So that means, you know what? Callie and Corey are out. Are home. The big for all the muscle. Uh, I love what Joe said at the end. He's uh, like, afterwards, you, you guys are going to take it out on them weights. You know, just go do some more push ups just because you're so angry. You know, but. I mean, they had it. Like, they even admitted, like, you know, we, you know, we try to do it for all the muscle. What was it? All the, Did they really? All their, I don't, I'm not using the correct term, but all their muscle fans. And uh, we gave it our best shot. I mean, like. That's kind of that has to be a little embarrassing to going back to all well the yeah no that's and and that's what you're right because they said something it's a show about um f- you know uh, about fitness, physical tough. fitness yeah but it is but it isn't always about you know yes you have the muscles and whatnot but it I mean nimble and you know agility being agile that that's yeah. also athleticism as well and they you kind of lose that when you have that much weight to carry I mean because Cali was pushing about two fifty and he's made, I'd say he's maybe like five nine. Yeah, no, maybe I, Callie. If maybe you can correct me on that. I don't know, but you 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 strong. Whatever, whatever. We're done with them. 
They were cool, kind of, not really. They're gone. <laughs> All right. So but, who do we? Who does that leave us? Leave uh, us with? Daniel, Daniel, James, Lori, Tiffany, and Tonika, and Chris for round two, which was protein was, shake. Protein Blech. shake. And let's just before we get into two, let's just talk a little about Joe Rogan. This time, I felt that he was kind of talking more and talking more smack and like being fun with them did you see that at all with like yeah you know he was encouraging the smack okay, talk well, well that's terrific thank you thank phil you. that Compost. is terrific um <laughs> what are you having for dinner tonight uh, uh whatever he was Compost. i like I, <laughs> Compost, fuck. <laughs> stay with us folks things could break any minute now but right now uh back to our regular program oh sorry we gotta stay to you, the show thank you kermit the frog okay. Okay, now, okay, you said you want to talk about jokes. Yeah, no, he just cracked more jokes, you know, made it move along, which is good. I, I, yeah, it was more entertaining. I miss his comedy, but um, let's let's jump into the second one. I, I want to just get, the, I really want to see you in the comments. What, do, we, what do they do? What do they do? <laughs> okay, one. it was protein shake, but just not just any old protein shake. They were at a, at a little cafe shop, and they... What were their options for their drinks? Their options was, okay... They had to reach their hands into um, the, the, these little balls that was going to tell them each ball had a number on it. And the number pertained to the type of bug that was in the box that they were going to have to place in their multi protein shake that they were going to drink. So well if, said. Yes. Yeah, so if they picked up. If they what picked are we up getting? The, what are we getting? We have three balls. What's three the first balls because the bugs are we had flies. They were number one. That was one. Tomato worms were two. Two. And three was, what was it? Th the third worst, one? stink bugs. Stink those, bugs. Those, those, I thought, my opinion, I thought they were the worst out of the three. Yeah, so, you, you know, so, well, at least they had a heart because they weren't going to make them eat all three. They were going to, you know, whatever they picked out, whatever ball they picked out, which pertained to the bug, that's the bug. Oh, that that's they, nice. It was just their topping on their hey. other disgusting ground up insects. Hey, they're showing a softer side. They could have made them eat all, eat all. I'm just being optimistic. <laughs> That's true. I like that. That's so, why you're here. Yeah, so, but, not, but not only on top of that, wait, right before they were going to drink their drink on, on the shake, they added a topping of curdled milk. Oh. Yeah, you were about to vomit. I loved it. It was awesome. You I honestly, gonna... I, I, I admit, <laughs> I said the first show, when it comes to food and that stuff, like, I'm probably dead. I'm, Dude. I'm going to lose. We're going to, you know what, guaranteed by the end of this season of us doing this, we're going to conquer that fear. I'm going to make it our mission. We're going to make you conquer your fear of bugs. Right, I'll play. go with you, bro. I, I'm not, I hope you I'm do, not into bugs. <laughs> I, I am just as weak as you, but I, let's do this. Thing. We can conquer this together. All right? But now let's go back to... Uh, after buzz. After buzz. After buzz. Conquering people's fears everywhere. There we go. It's like Oprah, but better. All right, so let's get into the... Let's, yeah. let's get into the... Who went first? It was Daniel and James. And what do... I don't remember... Daniel, I think they after getting in the, the little uh picking their ball, he got what the flies, yeah. He got they got flies. James, um, Daniel got flies and James got uh, stink bugs. Stink bugs. So, yeah. flies, when you saw it, they were probably what the easiest out of the three, which is not even easy, right? Because even would, Tonika, like when someone got flies, she was ooh, she got oh, yeah. kind of happy, you know, we'll save that for later. But so they're chugging two, they have, yeah. to do, they have two cups, kind of was it as a little bigger than these. Yeah, yeah, no, because little, no, yeah, each one was about sixteen ounces because they had four, right, and it was totally right, sixty-four right. ounces. Of and it was just drink as much as you can, juice. and the and the lowest amount that was not. Oh, the, um, forgive me. That's right. I I am horrible at explaining. Where I'm are kind you? Of what ADD. happened to you, JC? Today? Yeah. Okay. They had to clear the. They, they each had to clear two cups each that had sixteen ounces of bug juice in them. So each one had to drink thirty-two ounces or as much as possible within five minutes. So and they Ugh. and they had to do it as a tandem together. So. So but, they were up first, Daniel and James. Hey, Daniel kicked ass. I thought he was like, he had this herky-jerky thing. He's like, <laughs> yeah, the, he was also, I remember I said a woman was spazzing out. He might have just like upgraded spazzing out. He was. Hey, whatever you got to do. Whatever you got to do. He, and I'm not going to lie. I thought after they, they drank a lot and I thought like that wasn't going to be enough. Mm -hmm. So not only did I thought that all the other people were going to drink all of it, but I also thought they were going to drink faster. I'll be honest. Really? Okay. I don't know why I thought. Well, see, here's the thing. It's not the. I don't think it was the bugs that was the hardest part. I think it was the curdled milk. Really, you said that. You did say that. Yeah. I'll give you that. Yeah, because you just the scent and just you know yeah, you, you, it's yeah. gonna make you upchuck and the, the bugs you could kind of just power too. You know That's you true. could. 
okay. once you get it out of your mind. But it, the barrier of the milk, that's going to slow you down. And then on just, top of that, the bugs. I was just, yeah, I, I'll give you that. I was just going with like, you know, last week where they had to eat the scorpions. At least this week, all their insects are like splendid up. So it's all like just one nice smoothie. No, they, they no, they weren't chopped up. They weren't they, okay. They, they, they weren't they chopped were up. No. The, the top okay for the topping, they were moving, but everything else, all that gook was like it was a smoothie. That's what I'm getting at. Okay, it was smoothie. No, and then uh, and then <laughs> James, I'm wrong. James almost vomited, of course, but he held it. And, give him that. and when the five minutes was up, they finished up drinking 49 out of 64 ounces. So was that gonna hold up? I I didn't think so. You didn't I think so? I didn't think so. I thought they did kind of. I yeah. thought they went well. I thought they did well. I really did. I thought the girls were all gonna have a hard time, and then. But they were uh, the only reason I said they were all talking. Like I said, talking smack, especially um, Tonika. Or to, yeah, I hope I'm saying her name right. Yeah, she was like. Uh, I'm oh, sure she'll let you know if you say yeah. the wrong show. Call in. And, and <laughs> I hope she that. does. Please, if you're watching, please call in four two four two five six seventeen twenty nine. Very well said. Um. So they got, you said, 49 ounces out of 64 ounces. Yeah. And then who do we have up next? We have the good-looking girls. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some parts were good-looking. <laughs> no offense. They're beautiful girls, yes. They were beautiful. No, Lori and Tiffany. Butterface? And what? I did not say that. Oh, I, I have absolutely that. not. I think, I've, no, I didn't We're going to have to rewind I did not say that. Absolutely so me, not. So give me the archives for this. Please stuff, do. So. Absolutely not. No, I thought they were... They were beautiful young ladies. I really do. Right. I'm about uplifting right. today. All right. So what did they Christmas. get? What kind of balls did they get? <laughs> they ended up getting. Um, they both got worms. You know, so they they, they didn't. Whoa, 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 whoa! What do you mean both? Yeah, they both got two, didn't they? Did I? Write I that got one? the first. I got. Let me look at my notes. I got. Dude, English is my second language. I'm sorry. Bro. Okay, I could be wrong. If maybe someone will freaking call in and correct us. I hope I'm wrong. Don't um, campaign for callers. No. Uh, <laughs> What'd you get? I thought I, I wrote down. Stink bugs were one. Oh, were they? Okay. And tomato. Were they tomato worms, right? Yeah, tomato worms. Yeah, yeah. I got those two. Okay, yeah. So then, yeah, you you were probably right because I, why would they have two of the same? So. Right, right. So that they yeah they didn't get the easy fly one. They kind of got screwed. Yeah, the stink bugs and the. So how did how did, how did they do? God awful in a, in a word awful. They were they they did they, they, they they were about to vomit before they started. Like seriously, that surprised me. Uh, surprised me. I mean, they got past that. You know, like you said, you were saying, were the girls gonna go far this round? Yeah, because usually it's the physical challenge that I'm worried about. Right, with the women. right. And, and now they they pass one. They they, they this was their green. Pass one. They, they they this was their green. Pass one. They, 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 oh, I'm hearing myself back here. Interesting. That was weird. That was uh, replay. <laughs> you wanted replay. Ah, <laughs> clever Phil. Ah, <laughs> clever Phil. Let's okay, not do gonna, this again. <laughs> damn it, Phil. You're ruining the show. I know. Uh, no, no, not at all. No, but uh, <laughs> they they were, they were, did horrible. Yeah. They were they, bad. Like you said, they would like sniff it, taste a little, like put it on their lips, and then yeah. nothing. No dice. Like, come on, like power it down. Like just think of, you know, protein. I don't know. Sorry. How much did they get? They got 13, 13? Uh, 13 ounces. They hardly drank it, and they were like, did they, did, did they throw up? They didn't. I don't think they did. No, but what we did, we forgot to mention was um, Daniel after, right after that, he he passed the five minute mark because they got five minutes to drink it. Yeah, he he threw up. Did he? yeah, he, he like they didn't show it, but he threw up. And um, mm. these girls, these girls didn't. I think at the way end, one of the girls actually like puked, and I think I turned her away because I'm a little girl and I saw that, <laughs> and I was like, I'm not about to watch that. But. Um, you're a, gen- you're a, a scholar and a gentleman. I mean, come on. They only drink 13 ounces, and you're going to throw up? Like, you can't be doing that. Yeah, they hardly, made it, they hardly made it dead. So that. you knew it's that. I'm going to cut it here. I knew that, you know, Tanika and Chris, was gonna, they were gonna, it was going to be easy for them. I thought. But then again, when they started out, actually, um, Chris. Chris had the hard time. Because Chris, when he went out to get the bugs, remember when Oh, he, yeah, yeah. He... Say, yeah. say what he did with his hand. He, he was he was all, he was strong about it. He was like, yeah, let's get these bugs. Yeah, hell, hell yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. And he and he just went, Hur! and he just pulled out the bug. He's like, yeah, what I get, what I get. That's exactly what he did. If you guys <laughs> did not watch it, exactly. He got fly, and then and Tony goes like, mm-hmm, hell yes, baby. Oh, that's right, that's, baby. That's my man. That's mm-hmm. my man. And then Tonika ended up getting stink bugs, so yeah. they weren't completely out of the woods. And anymore. notice, like you said. Chris went in all strong, got it, you know. So I'm like, oh wow, he's gonna he's gonna kill it. He was like, deuce. He, They're gonna kill it. And what happened? What a bus. He bitched out. He I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. With respect, he just 
right off, he like seriously, he was like, like, like almost sipping his it. face was like said it all. Like he was like, <laughs> like oh, it was like, F- folks, if you're if you're just listening to us, you got to see you know Adam's face. It's just like it's it's a god awful the face that Chris. He was reenacting Chris's face, so it was. You got to check that out. Yeah, because Tonika was throwing it down, and I knew that she she was kicking butt of, uh, again, and then uh, Chris. He started just dribbling like snot was yeah. coming out of his mouth, and he you, he was he was gonna throw up. He was. I he, thought I he thought was at the point of no return. He was gone, huffing and puffing. And Joe's like, "You can't let Tony carry you again. What's wrong and she with was, you?" And she was talking smack the whole time, like, "Come on, you can't. No, no, don't, don't play me like this. Don't do this to me." Like, right. you, like I was like, "Damn, girl!" Like, all right. And that's my whole point once again that it's about teamwork because I know I know Chris wasn't pulling it, but. At, when you're when you're knee deep going for 50 G's, and if she's stronger at him, she herself could beat that other team. And if right, she right. just if it just powered down, if she drank one glass, mathematically they would have re- they would have right. already beat. You're the right, third you're group. right. But I mean, but she was like she stopped. She didn't have a lot of comments. Him. Yeah, I mean, she rather like you said, not finish just one cup, get it over with. Okay, your husband was not good. Maybe give him uh, some support. Like yeah. you can do this, we can do this. Because but no, like. Drink it, bitch, or you're not coming home. <laughs> no, because who knows? Like maybe the next challenge, it you know, it would have been roles would have been reversed. You right. know, right. it's just it, that's the, the thing about team where you're stronger at one, I'm stronger at this. Right. But, but speaking of Chris, th- remember we we're talking about his snot and being yeah. on his face, and then they edit away. You know, when she yells at him, "Come on, don't bitch, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't bitch out," and then they shoot back to him, and then his face is completely you clean. You caught that? I remember. We we actually rewinded it. Something some. Something of sketch with Fear Factor. And, yeah, uh, what was up with that edit? I don't know if they had to reshoot it or something. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not questioning them. I'm just wondering just kind of what happened. Cause, something happened. Because it, it was bad. He, Chris was Chris was holding off for dear life. But how how much? How many? Speaking answers? on just real quick. Speaking off for holding off for dear life. Adam Sudman is holding off for dear life before our big big challenge. And I just want to remind our viewers. There are a lot of you. Uh, please tweet, tell your other friends. Mm. Uh, coming up in a few minutes, Adam Sudman will be doing the AfterBuzz TV Fear Factor Challenge. So nice. stay tuned for that. And uh, for those of you just tuning yes, in, tuned. it is Adam Sudman. He will have to stick his head into a compost for 45 seconds. 45, what did you come for 45 seconds? Fine, I can do a minute. Nice. Wait, Adam, wait a minute. We've go, changed it now to a minute. <laughs> Adam, that's awesome, man. That's that's balls right there, I man. Wanted brother. A minute. That's awesome. I wanted a minute. Now get on with the after buzz show. You're a bigger man than I. All right, okay. so closing with this last, this second. Well, before we get out of this second stunt, they got 18 ounces. So they were done. And they were good. They were in the clear. Yeah, I knew right off the bat. I, I don't know why they tried to make it like suspenseful because you looked at Tonika's glass, it was practically gone. Right. So you knew she yeah. had already beaten the girl. Chris got his ass saved. Yeah, he did. He did. So, uh, unfortunately, Tiff and Lori, b- beautiful boobs and all. Out you go. They're gone. They were and, gone. Uh, I was sad. You were sad. It I, cha- I was. It changed I'd, it up the whole show, right? I'd cry, but I was born without tear ducts, so, you know, <laughs> I cried inside. So, now we've got the finals. They were winners in my heart. <laughs> a, a prize for participants. Particip- I can't even say it Particip- right say, now. Pa- 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 Participants. Uh, yeah, all right. You compost. Okay. Now we got the finals between uh, Daniel and James. Yes, our logo rific guys. Woo! And, and Rob, it's Rain Rob. and Man. <laughs> Hallelujah. And Chris and Tonika, the married couple. All right. We get Rob. Rob called them. They were in the final. He did. And and you called and you called Chris I, and Tonika. I'm not gonna, you know, get off. But I did. I, I was did. out and you. I don't know if you called or you just were looking at the the beautiful girls. So I'm Latin, yeah. Pretty much, I was. Unfortunately gone. for you and me, they they got booted. But yeah. And now to the finals, which was I think probably the shortest, like final obstacle in the history of Fear Factor. I mean, this thing was fast. I, it was like gone in right. sixty seconds. That's it. I mean, that's a good title. What was it? Gone in sixty seconds. Yeah, I just yeah. They're, you they're, should be riding for them. I want you to know that they're not all nuggets of gold. I. Oh, and it, uh, thank you, thank you for. This is why we have. This writing. is why we pay you millions of dollars to come here. No, no, we pay you to stick your head in uh-huh. compost. That's true. Okay, now to our final one. Now this one. Explain what happened. <sighs> here we go. 
First off, they had okay. They had one one. The, there was two big giant pill. Uh, would you call them pillars or just stages? Like these high rise stages of yeah, that's... multiple floors of like styrofoam floors or something. Right, a little styrofoam cardboard, something like that material. But you said it well. Like they were what eighty feet? I think I got yeah. eighty feet in the air. Two were, of them. They were suspended eighty feet in the air with one partner on the ground and the other one suspended above the the let's say the one of the pillars. Yeah, the right pillar. Okay. And um, the, what, what they had to do with the first partner had to run to a box that, and they had a set of keys and they had to unlock the box and that you get the right key to unlock the box to press the red button. Bu- yeah. yeah, and the little red um, drop button, which would drop the partner down through all five of those floors. 80 feet. 80 feet. So they're crashing through all that, that plywood. I don't know what it was. We'll call it steel. You know, just make <laughs> it. Just... Going through steel. Yeah. So they're going through steel, and then they had to crash all the way down. And once they hit the ground, all the rubble was probably a piled on them. Yeah, it was piled on top of them. Yeah, and th- they would now sprint to this winch, and the the winch they 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 had, they had to, to get a lever. They had to get the lever after they, they there's a lever like a little like yeah. What do we, what do you want to call it? like a yeah like a little, like the key to the winch. Right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So they had to get it. Uh, the the person had to you know shrug off all the all the the rubble, and then go, go to the winch, get the key on the winch. And then start pulling this rope, which this bro- and once they pulled the rope to this red marker, that's that's when they had to get an axe and chop the wood. High enough. Yeah, high, high enough. enough. Maybe a few inches. And and then, and then just chop that rope because what that rope was attached to was their other partner who was underneath the left pillar. And it would shoot him straight up all the way 80 feet through all of the... All the which I said from the get-go, made no sense. Like It was like, yeah. That, like... Well, okay, I get it, cut the wood, but what was the point? Basically, one partner got away with doing the hardest thing, and the other person had to freaking put the right key in and push a button and then just randomly go through a bunch of shit, and then the buzzer would go off. Yeah, definitely. Am I wrong? So who would you rather have been? You want to be the left pillar or right pillar, the one with the key? Or- not, I mean, I'd rather do, if I'm going to do something, I'd rather do the um, the going through the pillars, doing the wrench thing, Makes cutting sense. the... I mean, I don't know. It makes sense because you're kind of like extreme like that because of the compost. I mean, yeah. What, what yeah, do you, you want to um, take the other? Do you want to take the other one? I mean, I, I you might be. Want, I just want the fifty grand. It's all about the money. I'm, I'm on winning team. Let's do it then. No, but so then first up we got uh, Tanika and Chris. Tanika. And the funny thing is, I think it took longer for us to explain this this challenge than it took them to do the challenge. Yeah, yeah. Because Tanika got the key first key. Bam! She she out of what like five or six? Right? Yeah, they have five, five or six, six keys. Yeah. First key. Unlocked it, hit the red button, hit the red button, and homeboy just went whoom through everything down. <laughs> I thought he was dead. I thought this was the Did first. Really? <laughs> I thought this was the first after buzz where they're gonna have to be like, and Chris didn't make it. But moving on, Tanika had to do with Chris's <laughs> on a special fear factor. Yeah, you know, like it seemed like every time the per- the other partner falls off, they like. Well, there he goes, and there she goes. Now it's all up to him to do it all. Like, he don't give a shit about the person that just fell off. They're like, now hmm. that person has to take all that weight off their partner. Oh, yeah. Do you get that? It's yeah. like, I screw them. No, but he, like, I don't know. it was kind of cool because he, like, it's like, you see the rubble on him, and you're like, where's the dude? There's the dust that's <laughs> blowing up, and you see, like, rah, his hand, yeah. you know, like, come out. It took a little while. That's why I yeah. said it. it took a little while. Yeah. So we thought he was dead momentarily, but then he just, he, sprint, he sprinted out. Got to the winch. The key fell off the winch. Right, so it wasn't right. as easy as we explained it. He was going super fast, though, but you're right. And then finally got the rope to where they needed to, and then he had to chop the rope. Problem was, the homeboy couldn't he, he had no aim. Eye hand coordination was not working he for him. He had nothing. Baseball was not his sport. Anything like that. I'm sorry, ping pong, anything like it that. It wasn't about he kept, like, smashing it. It wasn't about the strength. You just kept missing the string. Yeah. And then you hear Joe in the background, he missed it. He missed it again. Did he really? Yeah, no, and then so he finally got it. And, 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 and the Tonika was pissed, of course. Like, she finally, my man can't do anything right. You know? <coughs> what was that, like an English Once again, girl? giving him the encouraging of advice, right? Yeah. And, of course, he finally got it after his third shot. And then just she shot, of course, she shot through. And they did it in a minute. In, oh, what, what, minute long? nine. Minute nine I got. Minute nine. Okay, so. <coughs> so let's see. That, you know, it was a pretty fast challenge. So let's see. If, there, so there was a little wiggle worm. Wiggle. Wiggle. wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle yeah. room. There's a lo- there's a little wiggle room. Where, like it, he was a little slow after the rubble. Yeah. He missed the winch fell off a couple times. He missed the uh, string. So there was a little time. So we both we both didn't we agree that they could definitely swing in there and. I was it. still griping because it was so damn fast. You know. Compared- and you're right. There is a little time. So for those of you tuning in, keep. 
tweeting. We are getting more and more <laughs> no, viewers. We're, not, we're not getting more and more. Are we we getting, are. I don't know how to work this dang thing, man. We, we've gotten more viewers, and again, they want to see Adam Sudman stick his head into a compost, dare I say, for a whole I like minute. I feel like we're at a circus. That's awesome. That, and you are the star. <laughs> we get, so wait, now, so did you, going back to the show, what did you think um, uh, Chris and Tonika were going to beat it? Um, I mean, I'm sorry, Daniel sorry. and James. Yeah. Well, look, this is how I saw it. Minute and nine was fast. Okay. And I know they would have to do everything I thought almost correctly. So they had to be perfect. So they couldn't, yeah, you know, they were only missed up. But he, I knew that Chris was going to be the strongest one out of all four of them to pull that, uh, what was it, the lever. So I knew he was going to, you weren't going to go faster than that. And, you know, we'll see if he was able to get out of the rubble quicker and we'll see what's up. Mm -hmm. and, and, and who went, who, do you remember who was doing who? That sounded wrong, but... <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone. That was for next fear factor. Uh, <laughs> fear factor after hours. No, um, it was actually Daniel was the one with the keys. Okay. And James was the one that had a plummet. Because it's a big role. That plays a big role because he James did not. had to do the work. He had to fly <laughs> down through the. And no, and remember Chris, uh, Chris when he went down, he was he went uh, feet first. Oh, and did I, he? And, I, didn't and, catch and that. I actually thought it was gonna be it was gonna hurt James and Daniel because. When um when they went, Daniel actually had tr he had he had a problem with the keys. It took him like three or four. Three, three or four, was it, was right? It, yeah. I think it was three. I think yeah. it was the third one. And that time was what I thought that was going to cost him the whole thing. You know, right then and there because because Tonika did it first Boom. key flat, bam. Boom. When they finally got it, third one, and then James actually he went through like face first, and I was <laughs> like, went, what the hell? Whoop. I thought he was. I thought he was gonna kill. That I thought he was. That's. I thought he was gonna get hurt, right? Because he was just <laughs> going through everything like face first. You're right, because like, we did see the fire trucks come last. Uh, the uh, last episode. Yeah. So. So I thought we need another so medic. But um, he went through face first, but he shut out like a cannon. Like when he hit the ground, he didn't even miss a beat. Like he wasn't. He was smarter it's like than Popeye. I. Popeye. Yeah. He just went and then um, got the winch relatively fast, you know. So it was relatively, even. it was relatively. Even. Oh, so so you thought? Let's stick on relatively for a second. Okay. He was he was doing it. That's what I'm gonna say. He was going. He so you're being cynical. So you're saying it could just be the way they edited. It. You thought that they were making it look kind of. I I mean, was. at that point, it was like I knew it was gonna be close, mm -hmm. but like you know, he just didn't seem like he was going because. Don't get me wrong, but you know when Chris missed missed the it fell off and he had to. I just thought people didn't focus on how fast that shit was going because mm -hmm. that was going fast, and he was just doing it at a normal human speed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I, no, I can but, see. But what did he do next with the string? Oh no, he finally well he he pulled the winch and he got it the red marker to where they you know where he needed to, and that's where he got the he got the axe. First shot, bam, knocked it out. He 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 showed he, up, Chris. Yeah, he showed it up. You know, he that was, you know, he was spot on. He's like bullseye, and Daniel just shot straight up, and then there we go. So he, you know, he made it to the top, and they were excited. They thought they had a chance. Chris and Tonika. Chris thought he was gonna be in the doghouse because. Oh my god! Just imagine, like, whoever, I don't know who won at this point. We we both felt that it was pretty close. Right. It seemed like. I mean, that's what they made it seem like. That's how I'm gonna put it. Mm -hmm. Fear Factor made it seem like this was going to be either a second, two seconds, three seconds. Did you get the same view as yeah, me? Of course. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Fear Factor. Sus, you know, suspense. But now, so they finally, you know, Joe Joe got them all together. He said, so great, you know, great job, everyone tonight. And then he told everyone their time. He said at a minute nine, We, I mean, a minute eight. Oops. Was it? What, what was it? was it? a minute nine. Minute nine. Oh, Chris and Tony was a minute nine. And then. It was going to win drum roll like we have this. Drum roll. <laughs> And Daniel and James did it in one minute and eighteen seconds. Oh, yes, that was good suspense right there. Thanks. I went to the school of Ryan Seacrest. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> no, yeah, minute eighteen. So then, fortunately, Daniel and James were out, and our winners of Fear Factor episode two were Chris and Tonika. Yes, they, they, they. They did it. One thing I noticed, did you notice that they kept replaying the hell out of the last sequence, out of the last challenge? They kept replaying them, going through the building, out through the building. I think yeah. they were trying to stretch it. They were trying to fill up time because it was so fast. I mean, they they made a good point like before the before this whole series that okay, there's gonna be bigger explosions, better camera work, like you're gonna see a whole different view. And the first one, like with the the first episode that we did last week, 
they had the big fire explosions. They had a lot, a lot more like crazier things. Right? Do you agree? Yeah, uh, I, I like the second episode so far. I, I okay. love that I second, that, epi- that second episode. Yeah, no, this one, th- the last one. Yeah, it's like they had all these good cameras, but mm-hmm. the explode. It was just. Uh, it was, uh, uh. Well, maybe we need suggestions that we can send. I I thought the second challenge was great tonight. The the bug one. I thought that, that was, was your favorite. Probably. Yeah. Let's see. Um, you would like that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, as for fear, like out of the three, which one would have been the most difficult for me? Probably two. You're, you know, the, I couldn't the bug, agree more. You know, I just think one was. I think one and three are for fun. As in, like other the other episodes, you could see there was a little bit of element of right. fear okay. and, and physical challenge. I didn't see um, the first and third challenge tonight as physically challenging. I saw it as exciting and that's, fun. That's a and very just, valid point. Yeah. So. Well, uh, let's take a commercial break, and we'll come back with predictions and compost. Whatever Phil has <laughs> for all your lucky viewers' eyes. Is your heart After Buzz TV. Hi, I was once like you. A lazy, angry loner whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And, like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag co-workers about it at the water cooler. Then, I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzzTV produces after-show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzz TV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after shows, from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? Okay. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Fear Factor Episode 3. Actually, it's, it's 3 because... We've we, been saying 2. All yeah, we've been saying 2. Sorry, guys. So we're back to our final, our own in-house Fear Factor challenge. But, like, I'm just going to throw this out. Fear Factor has a freaking... They test this shit. Uh-huh. Wh- who's going to be our medic? We got DJ Jesse J here to be our medic. Don't worry, we got it, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I trust that. I, I got my I was CPR certified, like, in 94. I'm good. I got you. I got you back. All right, so what we're doing today is, yes, our own Fear Factor, and we're going to stick the lovely Adam into this heap of compost, but we have a heart here. We're not going to stick them directly on the compost. You're going to be in the trash bag inside the compost. So don't worry. It's, you know, we have a heart. They have a heart, you know? Oh, all I know is how do you feel? they have a dog you- here named Buzz, right? You know. <laughs> okay. He eats the gnarliest. Takes massive shits. Okay, I got like, it. I just hope that this is, uh, what's the other one's name, Phil? What's the other dog here? Rex. Rex. I hope I hope Rex ate a lot last night. You mean like a lot of oatmeal, a lot of fiber? A so lot of something. I just, uh, I swear. Buzz. Chunky okay. dumps. All right, let's do this. I'm going gonna, gonna to cut to the compost. You guys don't see it yet. JC, if you, if you take off the lid right now so that our viewers can see... Um, it, there, there's a uh, soil in there. There's uh, leftover food, and then there's just straight up poo poo. Oh God! <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you can see JC. Uh, by the way, please apologize for the uh, the color of that camera. We don't want to uh, make the poo poo uh, look really bad for you guys. There you go. There you oh go. There's my the. God. <laughs> I can't. <what> the- <laughs> So, um, as you guys can see, we have our timer there. JC is going to start the timer, but Adam, kindly get up out of your out of your couch, yeah, and uh, and, and, ca- and proceed I- proceed to the compost. <laughs> proceed to the compost, Adam. And uh, we're going to play some "Baby Baby" by uh, Justin Bieber for you as well. Okay. Well, first off, we need you so we can see you. So we're going to have you come down, put the bag over you. So you're not going to stick your head directly in it. So there's, no, you're not, you're going to be fine. I got you back. All right. You For those of you listening, no, uh, you can't mind. really hear JC, but 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 he's just sticking his head in there. You don't actually have to, sn- you don't have to put your mouth on anything. Right. Just stick your head in there and uh, we'll put the five. trash bag over you. You see five? Like- no, don't worry about the flies. Don't worry about the flies. All right. So, so All right. You're going to put yourself, uh, we're gonna put you you got to put yourself in there, Adam. Okay, put 
put this over your head, right, and I then you're going to get in there. I'm going to start the timer. Uh, uh, JC is going to start the timer, guys, and we're going to do it for a full minute. So actually, we'll put you in the bag, and once you go in All right, we're show, putting Adam in the bag first. Okay, you tell me when you're ready. All right. Well, you gotta put, you gotta we're waiting put, on we're waiting on Adam's put mark. Put the bag on me because you don't want any of that compost on you. All right, all right. So just get in a little deeper. All right, well, we get the movement. And look, and don't worry about an asphyxiation or anything. I'll just host next week. I got your back. Guess what? If you gotta puke, Adam, you can puke right in. Yeah. That's the benefit of all this. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Okay. After Buzz history, guys. Here Adam we go. is ready. Three, two, one, go. The timer has started. Oh, you gotta go deeper. Come on, you can, <laughs> you can do this, Adam. You you got this. You got this. You get. You, you got this. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. Was wait? Is Adam shielded by the bag? No, the bag is to hold the uh the, the 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 stuff in. Hold on, this. I gotta get involved. I gotta get involved. You got this. You gotta get in deeper. They want you in deeper. Oh, right. you just gotta make sure that he's oh, actually. He's good. Okay, we're at twenty-six seconds. I think. Uh, ooh. What do we got? What do we got? I think, well, see, we're missing Rob tonight, and Rob got food poisoning. We're, we're missing Rob. Yeah, we're... What's the time on this shit? We're at 39 seconds. We're at 39 seconds. Okay, we're at 40, 45 seconds. You're doing excellent, Adam. 46 seconds, buddy. Okay, you got 10 more seconds. How you feeling, Adam? You, you doing all right? <laughs> Adam's feeling great. Okay, he's got... Okay, you got five more seconds, Adam. Five 45, more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and win it. Yes! What's up? Give me it right here, right here. There you go. Adam Sudman has completed his first AfterBuzz challenge. There we go. Wow. That's That's what I call a shit show. That was awesome. All right. Adam Sudman, everybody. I guess I opened my fucking mouth. Adam, no, no, no. Adam, yeah, okay, give it, all right, all right, Phil, shower. all right, Phil, let's, let's give it up for Adam, come on, let's put our hands, there we go, yeah, dude. <laughs> Adam, how, how was the experience? Yeah, yeah that was definitely Buzz's uh, shit in there. <laughs> That's all you have to say? Wow, yeah. Um, you guys should try it, no, you guys really <laughs> no, should. I, no, I gave it up for Lent. Um, now, what I was going to say is... <laughs> Interesting. You did it remarkably easy. I thought you were going to protest a lot more. I thought you would have walked. I, I was just I, afraid that, like, I didn't know how tight you were going to put the bag over me. I was going to, like, get all Can that. Can we get this compost out of here? Like, I thought it was going to be all the heat and dog shit. Like, I thought it was going to, like, ew. You know, but. Uh, yeah. Dude, you're conquering fears. We're breaking barriers. This is like a self help, like, after buzz. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> you, the man you came in at the start of this series, by the time you come out, you're, you're going to be a lion. Am I? You, you, I'm telling you, man. You, you're going to be a beast. Like, seriously. I, I, next week, they're going to have something else for you from what I hear, and it's supposed to be even better. So, it, you, you did great, brother. And I appreciate JC getting my side. Thanks, dude, thanks Phil, for your uh, dude, creative uh, adventure. So, now back to the end of the show. So, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, let's get back to this. What are they going to do next shit week? Show. I don't. Oh. And now, it gets you're me every time. Buzz TV. <laughs> I like the lights. Predictions. Oh. All right, Adam. Now that you're composed of uh, the compost, um, what do you think is going to happen next week? What do you What do you think? How are they going to take it up a notch? Or you think it's just going to be kind of still the same? Um, like, short? well, I think I was surprised. I said last the first week that I thought I was going to see um, a bunch of like rats or a bunch of animals or snakes. Or like confined in like you're in a box or something to do with a lot of animals crawling over you and you can't really do anything about it. So I'm gonna push I didn't see we didn't see anything like that. I'm gonna Ooh. push into the you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, no. I'm talking about like where you have to get the girl or the guy, you know, freaking uh blindfolds or whatever, so goggles on and you're like laying in a box and you just have like a hundred rats. Yeah, look, we have freaking flies <laughs> still in here. That's ridiculous. <laughs> When's the last time you took out your trash? <laughs> We brought the trash back in just for you. Yeah. Well, wow. Nope. Anyways, they're going to be sitting in like or laying down in some type of animals. That's what I think is going to happen. Uh, um, yeah, I think it's going to be like, let's say they're going to put them in a coffin but like filled with rats. And they got to stay in there good. for like X amount of time with rat droppings. And How would you do with that? I wouldn't do it. Hell, no, I, I don't know. For 50 G's, I'll do just about anything. It, anything. For, for, for money. Oh, for money. Sorry. We pay you here, of course. 
Yeah, but that's like in pesos. Oh yeah, that's yeah true. you guys pay me in pesos. Once you pay me in dollars, <laughs> then I'll definitely, I'll, 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 I might join you. I'll, I might join you one week. W- would you do that with me? Possibly. Oh, that's Ask so, me next week. That's, uh, I'll so think nice about it. It depends who tweets us and calls us and lets us know. And yeah, so hopefully, any suggestions um, yeah. for uh, whatever. By the way, it- yes, we should do that. Uh, you know, we're obviously going to make fa- uh, fun challenges here, but uh, feel free to tweet us, Facebook us, uh, email us, info at AfterBuzz TV for what Adam should do next. And remember, he hates eating stuff. So if you want to really be bad, <laughs> make him eat stuff. Wow. Maybe some like you know slam, that, it's slam good. dunk on. <laughs> they like you. That's why I see you. That's why they do that because at After Buzz they oh, love so you. So sweet. They yeah. care. So, they treat us well. So that's it for tonight, guys. The I views think. expressed herein are those of the hosts oh, only and do not necessarily reflect like the views of After Buzz TV or its owners <laughs> or principal. That's it for tonight, guys. Join us next week and let's see what happens to Adam. And while I just get to watch, <laughs> well, that, that was fun. <laughs> great you missed show. out on a great time in there. Okay, I had a one minute to just. All to myself and just think about just where I want to go in life. Shitbox party of one. Make, yeah, make sure, make sure to, where can they find you? Um, well, you can still find me on my Twitter, my great Twitter name that Phil loves, L A L D Way. What about you? And I'm, of course, the everyday man at Twitter. Yes, yeah, send your tweets and all that fun and stuff. And tune in to week three if uh, we can still get on the air. That's if Adam three. comes back. So, yeah. You might not see me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. By the way, this late night hour worked out well for you guys. You know, uh, at that point, no one cares about the <laughs> profanity. No one cares about being, you know what I mean? I Would didn't you swear. Adam swore. Oh, do I need to catch up? No, but but you know what I, I mean? Hoping, now, I was now hoping we could bring in the dirty stuff. I mean, we could have strippers that, here. We could I have anything. That's what I said last week. I said last week we could get like, like midget, tra- last midget tranny hookers next week. Well, <laughs> fun story about that one at a later date. <laughs> Excellent, Thank guys. you. I, can they even hear us now anyway? It's the theme. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. later. I'm out of here. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.